Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, Hungary, Turkey, Romania. I uh, don't normally do wines from places like that, which is, um, is it a shame or is it not? Let's just dig in and find out. First one I have got is the Hungarian one uh, from, it's good, it just says Bok, he's the, he's the producer, Joseph Bok, uh, and it's uh, Villani uh, Portuguesa, so uh, Villani is the, the, the district, Portuguesa is the grape variety. Uh, let's just dig in and um, see how we get on. Well, it's got this sweet, um, plummy character, but then it's got this savoury tomato edge as well. Um, it feels what I, what I call quite a wild wine. It's got a, it's got a few uh, warts and a few hairs on its chest and uh, wants to tell a few stories. Uh, but um, as for class, maybe it's not a really imm immensely classy wine, but um, for, yeah, it feels like it's going to be interesting. This slightly barnyardy character, uh, almost a fizzy, fizzy character there. Um, um, Ash, tar, um, yeah, baked berries, uh, a little bit of um, Brutanomyces, uh, giving a bit of farmyardy character, maybe drying out the finish a little. Uh, but the finish I'm left with has got this, I like, charred character, which makes me, um, makes me, I, I, I don't know whether that's, uh, that, 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 that's intentional, but it really does take over and dries, it out, dries your mouth out, uh, leaves you with a flavour that's um, not great. So, not huge fan there. Let's see how we get on in uh, in Turkey with um, uh, from the Vinkar wineries uh, Kalachik Karazi. Uh, so that was 2008, these two are 2009 um, and a grape I know very little about so uh, yeah, I can't tell you whether it is typical of the Kalachik Karazi grape. I might give my glass a little rinse after the one that came before. Now this feels much more gentle and interesting. Uh, it's got a, um, it's got a bit of the, the um, what I think they call the Central European wildness in here, uh, but it's it's a rony, meaty wildness. Um, so if it, it maybe it would be something uh, like a cross between Grenache and Morvedre. It's got that, um, yeah, the gentle berry. Um, it's got a bit of the plum there. Uh, but yes, it's got this solid meatiness. But what I particularly like about it is I look at the colour, and it's uh, it's one of those that uh, it doesn't feel like some uh, someone's. First of all, it doesn't feel like it's got a major amount of colour in the grape in the first place. But equally, it doesn't feel like someone uh, has gone out and out to extract as much uh, as possible. Uh, and there's uh, there's something about it that almost reminds me a little bit of Nebbiolo. So um, it's um, yeah, Roni Nebbiolo. If that's uh, sounds like a rather interesting wine. I have to say it smells better than it tastes. Uh, when I come to taste it, I don't know whether it's a wood thing or whether it's a grape thing, um, but uh, it, it, on the back label they've got, they've got this word banana, and, and uh, I think of banana in a, in a red wine, and I think of pinotage, but, uh, and there's also for me something like a slightly muddy vanilla character. I don't know whether there's, uh, they've aged it in a particular sort of oak, which has given this uh, round, slightly, um, yeah, mood, uh, slightly muddy, crude vanilla character. Um, it's okay. Uh, I wish I could just have uh, sniffed it because uh, it's slightly disappointing after after the way it smelled. But it's interesting and certainly um, a step up from the one before. Final wine, um, Prince Sturby Novak Sec 2009 um, from the Dealurile Altenai uh, part of uh, Romania, about which I am clueless. I think is the technical term. Uh, so I'm just going to taste it and see see where we get and uh, I'll uh, on my website I'll put a link to somewhere where you can find out quite a lot more about this wine and uh, well I, I can find out more about this wine too. Now this feels quite a lot more conventional. It feels uh, like there's a, a juicy core of um, ever so slightly jammy uh, red berry and black currant fruit and um, it, it, yeah it feels a, a bit simple uh, but it feels like it's going to be honest. Uh, tasty and um, sausage friendly. Bit confected, um, but juicy, honest, round, ripe enough and um, friendly enough. Um, interesting. Uh, interesting is a word I could use for all three of these. Probably my favourite um, of those three. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd do them in three, two, one order. Uh, the Vincara, I, I wish it just didn't have that, that, that vanilla note. Not sure what's gone on with the first one, but um, I don't know if I want to find out, but um, hey, see you soon.